Hey everybody, um, I want to make a video real, real quick, quote quote, if anything's quick. <laughs> My last video was pretty long, and uh, in the comments section, there was quite a few people I could tell that had been going through um, a lot of friction in this season and um, you know for me I have a degree in finance so I learned roughly how the financial markets work I, I used when I was younger like college aged I was highly motivated to want to invest in the future but somewhere along the lines I became cynical and didn't I didn't have faith in the system, you know, I didn't, I thought that the, uh, like publicly traded stocks, I thought that the stock market was an unsustainable um, system in terms of growth expectations, and with globalization, you know, they basically started using child labor and quasi-slave labor, if not explicit slave labor in China to maximize the shareholder returns so to, to have cheap labor for these corporations so I had ethical dilemmas and all this stuff so all that being said I didn't want to participate in investing and for some reason you know I thought that was like some moral high ground maybe it was maybe it wasn't but 20 years went by and I'm in a position where in hindsight, I'd be better off financially if I had made some strategic decisions. So all that being said, to even have an investor mindset is a revelation. Some people that watch my channel, they may be very new to the idea or maybe they're very experienced. Um, but I just want to encourage people to seek God. I never asked God, you know, would it be evil for me to invest in Amazon or Google? I didn't, add, I didn't take it to God. Back then, I did not have a walk with the Lord. I had some idols and some thoughts um, and some vain thoughts. And honestly, I thought the economy would have crashed by now and that we'd be like in a depression. If you'd asked me, Ten years ago, I'd say, well, you know, something severe has to happen. And I'm sure it, it's going to happen. It's, it's inevitable. Every, every uh, so often, you know, if you wait long enough, anything's possible. So I'm saying all this, that it takes, I believe, a lot of faith right now to invest. The only thing worth investing in financially, I believe, is things that God is telling you to invest in. Specific things. And this is where I want to get to. I didn't plan on saying all that. Last night I was talking to my, my best friend for hours. And I wanted to say this. It's a revelation. It's not about how much you're starting with, even now. It's about how much can God multiply it. It's a revelation. I've beat myself up because I'm not getting more money into the market or I'm scrambling my thoughts going, oh, and I, I you know, I feel this urgency and I don't want to miss this opportunity and this is just through the days through the weeks where my mind can go and my attitudes and last night man it just hit me like a ton of bricks I'm going to say I'm starting out with more than most probably I who knows but I've been, I've been sowing into the strategic, prophetic investments for months now. 
Now I can ask God, Lord, it's not about what I'm going to do at all. How much do you want to multiply this? How much do, does God want to multiply it? Here is an example. I'm just going to throw it out there. The Lord told me about Robonomics in the bottom of the bear market crash, so to speak. It went up 400% when many other things were stagnant, trading sideways. It went up 400%. You can't get a 400% return on your money in two months outside of very, what you'd call high risk type investments or whatever. But So God multiplied that money times 400%. In the middle of, he told me Robonomics. I was like, okay, I'll buy some now. I traded out of it at about a 300% gain. So my money tripled. I put that back into Luna Classic. Then I believe the Lord is going to multiply the Luna Classic a thousand fold. Y'all listen here. Three hundred fold. Times a thousand fold. Then, Lord willing, you put that into something strategic and it goes up a hundredfold you're looking at a multiple got then the Lord's coming up with these other prophetic words I know a brother in the Lord so it's like Elijah and the widow I talked about in my last video she didn't have much oil God multiplied her oil to pay off all her debts if I remember the, the story right, she was complaining to Elijah that if she couldn't pay off these debts, her children were going to have to be sold into slavery. Imagine some perverted men, right, trying to take away a widow's children. They could have been like, hey, if you don't pay us, we're going to take your daughters and we're going to have our way with them. And after we have our way with them, we're going to sell them to those other slave traders down the road. And So you better come up with the money. Think about it. There's some vicious, cruel things that go on. We don't talk about them. Um, sex trafficking and all that stuff. So imagine some sex traffickers they were like debt collectors and they're like, we're going to take your children and we're going to have our way with them if you don't give us the money. So the widow's like, Elijah, I'm going to lose my children. He says, what do you have? A little bit of oil. She paid off all the debts with the way God multiplied it. The Lord gave me a vision of Kings 4 a couple years ago. And I was wondering why, you know, 1 Kings, 2 Kings. Blah, blah. I believe that this is a revelation. Maybe some people were talking about it. Brother Greg was talking about it from prophetic insight of God is a God of multiplication. He said it in such a just charismatic way. I, I don't know if, if the depth of the magnitude of the possibility uh, sunk into me. And then he sowed that seed and somehow it's really starting to sprout. I'm going, it's really not about what we can do. There's steps that we need to take in the physical world. Learning the exchanges. Having secure accounts, learning how to get the money off of the exchange, the crypto off of the exchange. There's a lot of preparation that goes into this. 
okay? Um, it's a learning curve for some. It's not easy for everyone. A lot. I, I've lost money trying to send it. You, I accidentally used the wrong network the other day, and I've got experience. I had Ethereum in my BNB folder on MetaMask and tried to send it to Uphold, but it got lost. It wasn't in my Ethereum. So, so number one, I will say this. Always send a test amount. So if you're trying to move $100 or 1000 send a test amount. Like when you're moving money off this exchange to make sure it goes through and then duplicate the process because you don't... Anyway, the revelation is, all right, Lord, because this takes even more faith than going all in. I'm all in. Financially, I'm all in. Whatever that means. Now, okay, Lord, what if people don't have as much as me. I heard a testimony from a brother in the Lord who got into BNB Tiger about four weeks ago. He told me. He put, I can't remember the exact number, let's say it was close to let's say 200 bucks. Since then, it multiplied to be his largest valued holding and he's been adding for two years now to these prophetic coins that he believes in and so in four weeks out of obedience to something somewhat foolish God multiplied that money to exceed the value of all the other money he's put in the market in a year. Can you catch that? I've got to catch it. I'm thinking, make the most of the opportunity. Go all in. Baby goat. Once. They're okay. Once you get this seed and you catch the revelation that only God can multiply it like that, only God could take that oil that would be insignificant to pay off all your debts and to have enough provision for the foreseeable future. With crypto, it's so easy for God to do this. But guess what? The missing key is you have to pray you have to have faith. You have to do what God shows you or it's can't, it can't happen. You could get lucky, I guess. Some people get lucky, but we're not, we don't want to be lucky. We want to be highly favored and blessed, highly grateful to God to say, God did more than we asked or imagined. He can multiply to where in a short order you could have a million percent return. He can do it. I think he wants to do it. Um, the key is being obedient, being chosen and called for it, and praying and never, never saying, well, that's good, I don't want to be greedy or this or that. It's, Lord, how much do you want to multiply this? And show me the steps. I'm getting testimonies in my comments. God's telling people to hold. They're having visions, dreams. One of the main reasons I wanted to shoot this video was to say, there's some people that have encouraged me, and I, I know I've got some sharp cookies watching this channel and, and commenting and sharing some very beautiful hearts uh, there's uh, Royal Roxanne uh, she believes the most encouraging comments and just the words that she chooses to use to encourage me 
that is God's grace. She is God's grace. She has a gift of grace and encouragement and that, there's no telling, that speaks so many volumes. Uh, it's, and when people tell me they're praying for me, it's, that's the most humbling thing is when people say, me and my wife are praying for you. I, I had a brother email me. He said, I pray for you often. And I'm like, man, I need, I need those prayers. It makes me want to be a better man to know that people are praying for me. And I mean, how much is that? You can't measure it. You don't know the power. How much of that is why God's revealing other things to me and, and propping me up. I don't even know. But thank you for praying. There was a... Her name is... I think... I don't know who it is. Beauty Beads. Left a comment that was really thoughtful, insightful. She mentioned some things. I think it's a she. I don't know. They mentioned some things that I didn't think of, but they're spot on. And I, I just, with the things God's entrusted me with this channel, I don't want to waste people's time. I know a lot of my videos are like word salad. I'm talking a, a longer. Some people could deliver the message soon, quicker, more to the point. That's not how I've been. Maybe I can get better. But the main thing I wanted to say was thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for sharing, whether it's a struggle or a testimony or a word from the Lord or a vision, sharing it in the comments because I know people, are their faith is getting built up so that they can enter into that faith-based investment mindset and start to see something bigger at play. You know, this is this is probably bigger than we can imagine. And uh, also, that revelation of how can God multiply it. When this brother told me that God multiplied his $200 now into something that was his biggest holding, no effort, human effort, can substitute for the blessing of God for that insight, for that timing that's the proverb uh, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth and no effort can substitute it for it this, what we're experiencing, what we're believing is that proverb being fulfilled, that scripture being fulfilled um, so this idea of Lord how much can you multiply this? That is the wisdom from God. Not how much can I make to put in. Even though we both do our part. Take what you get. Take what you got. Be content. Keep adding to it. Pray for new ways to add to your investments. But then go, Lord, what? You, how do you want to make an eternal testimony of how you multiply this like that widow. This is it. We're on display for God. Whether we feel it or not, whether we realize it or not, and He wants to do some things. I'm telling y'all, I know it. That have never been done before. Um, the last thing I think that I'll say, I, I always say, in conclusion and 20 minutes later, there's nothing. I talked to my friend Jordan about hopelessness. And he lives in a city. I live in a town. And he was sharing some examples of how he just thinks there's so many people that are medicated, hopeless. They use the word mental health now to describe people's struggles. So many people started on rocky ground as a chill as children i had loving parents i had loving family i had i had it all 
we we might as well have been growing up in Mayberry. You know, we had such a blessed childhood, such a blessed family. And so, so many people come from abusive families, broken families. Um, the brokenness and the hopelessness is incomprehensible. That being said, my prayer is for us, anyone who's hearing this right now, to have a sound mind. The Bible talks about it. A sound mind in this day. There's a few things in life that matter. One is knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. That matters more than anything. But how can he be known? He's, there's so much depths, right? So in our despair, we come to know him maybe greater. In our, in our joy, in our greatest joys, we come to know the Lord better. He said, come enter into your master's joy. I will give you great responsibilities. That is the result of faithfulness. What is the product of being conformed to the image of Christ? A sound mind. We need a sound mind. So that is my prayer right now that anyone who... Uh, is watching this video at any point in the future who may be struggling with uh, demonic attacks, double-mindedness, lack of faith, even a lack of trust in the Lord. Um, anyone who's had a disappointment pursuing the promises of God, Lord, we pray that you heal all of our minds and that you give us a sound mind to take possession of these promises and to steward these things, to hear you clearly, to not be compulsive or anxious, but to be responsive and diligent, to Lord, we pray that you give us wisdom that's 10 years ahead of the curve. 20 years ahead of the curve. We ask for you to give us wisdom that when people say, how, how do you know this? God told me. And it comes to pass. And we don't miss the mark. We just want to hear the clear voice of the Holy Spirit in all things so that we do have that confidence in what we hear and how we respond to it. So that's my prayer is a sound mind, y'all. I'm planning on interviewing Linda and I want to bless her and I'll more than likely interview her today and post that with, with this kind of simultaneously. Thanks for if you watch this, thank you. We need sound minds. It's almost like half the people in this country are crazy. Like insane, neurotic, angry, bitter, distrustful. It's almost so many people are just waiting to explode. And then you have such saintly people mixed in that are perfect in perfect self-control walking with the Lord, never disturbed. So we have this mix. And, you know, I've been swayed and, and like I said, I've lost self-control. I know I can do better. I know the Lord can empower me to do better is the better way to put it. And this financial wisdom, y'all, this prayer, Lord, how do you want to multiply this? We're coming up on what I believe is going to be a bull run of a lifetime opportunity. 
um, and some probably some misinformation and some shaking um, and some smoke and mirrors going on in the midst. But if we follow God's instructions, it's going it's going to be a testimony. It's going to be a huge testimony. Um, that's all I can say. So I want to take on the mindset of an investment banker for God. He's already given it to me. I want to put that on. Okay? To know that's my calling. The, the wealth that some of you are going to be stewarding is going to be like Floyd Mayweather. God gave me a vision of Floyd Mayweather was about to come out into this ring. And I knew it was Money Mayweather. I wondered if the play on words Mayweather Money Mayweather was God's clue that by May there is going to be some major things happening. People are believing it could start in March, mid March potentially. I had this vision that included Floyd May, Money Mayweather. The next day, I saw a wrecker truck giant like Ford F-550 with TMT in my hometown which is Floyd's logo the money team I was talking to a brother in the Lord shared my vision about money Mayweather he said brother a month before that God gave him a dream that he was with Floyd Mayweather Money Mayweather. And I'm starting to get this picture that God is putting together a money team. I know there's religious people who cannot hear that. There's people who aren't religious who can't hear that. I believe, I'll say this, maybe this will be the last thing. My cousin, is a preacher. He went to prison three times and God delivered him. He met the Lord and was saved on the third commitment to prison. I think they were drug related charges. He got out, started going to church, started teaching and preaching. He called a revelation. He's My cousin's anointed. He sowed some seeds into me and spoke a prophetic word over me. He, he told me, this is before I ever got into crypto. He said, or if I was, I just had Dogecoin and didn't really understand anything. He said, God is going to give you financial wisdom and then he's going to send you your wife. Well, I was dating someone when he said this. So I said, like, who, who do you think you are? You know, you're implying that who I'm with, well, it was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made, but when the Lord showed me the same wife, he promised me 12 years ago in a dream, and I'm dating someone else, I had to end that relationship. I had, and it was the hardest thing ever. When you love someone and you're being called to lay that relationship down for the person, it, it's very hard. So that's a little, anyway. But my cousin Cody was preaching in our church in this little town that God was going to give us millions and billions of dollars to go to Africa and to the nations 
and to bring this message of, of the gospel with empowerment. Not the gospel where you tuck your tail between your legs and bury your talent. The gospel where you trade with your talent and you serve the Lord diligently, faithfully, eagerly, and watch what He does as you strive to be faithful, to go on from glory to glory and pursue the spiritual gifts. He's preaching a gospel of excellence where you strive eagerly, where you run that race, like Paul said. So when he was talking about millions and billions of dollars, it may sound wacko. He's talking to a bunch of broke people in that church, by the way. We, I don't know if there's anyone who would be technically... I don't think we have anyone who's a millionaire in that church, so... For anyone to, you know, a bunch of people that live in trailer houses and stuff in the projects and government housing, your preacher's like, we're going to have millions and billions of dollars. We're taking this to Africa. I said, that was, that was from the Lord. And I believe it. I believe God can multiply what I've done with my oil, putting it into the the jars that he told me. Then the Lord do the rest and I just follow his instructions. I believe he can multiply it into billions of dollars. Dollars. It's 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 really spending power or financial authority is a, is a better way to put it. It's not about money or dollars. And I literally believe he's building a money team. You, you watch some of these brothers on YouTube and you hear what they're saying now. I wouldn't be surprised. This is the last thing, I think. I've thought about it and I've talked to some people. You know, I will probably delete all of my crypto videos when this comes to pass. For lots of reasons. One, we live in an age of facial recognition. And, you know, I don't want to give, you know, every hacker in the world a target. You know, just saying. Right now, I've got a thousand subscribers. You know, I don't know how many thousands of people. But uh, I was fasting. This is back, Brother Keith, I think, in a group. Courtney and some other guys were fasting. This is months ago for the wealth transfer. And I, I tried to fast a couple days. And I heard this voice as I was fasting. And it said, there's a bug in the room. And you think about, there's a bug in the room. It's almost like you're being monitored by someone with ill intentions or we, you know, there could be people with skills to try to hack and whatever, scam. But when it's all said and done, when, like, when the Luna Classic price starts to come to pass and some other things, I might end up deleting my videos. I'll leave the ones about the goats, maybe, you know, but I'm just saying, there's no reason in leaving a bread trail to put a target on your back. Um, so, other people hearing this may want to consider, you know, precautions that you want to take. Um, it's not, it's just being wise, you know. Uh, there's some other part to that I thought I was going to say, but I know God's going to multiply some things beyond belief. I've had enough com confirmation and things come to pass to where I know I'm not crazy. And um, that's all I can say. And 
two people sent me, one person sent me XRP, and another person sent me Dogecoin, and I received that. I'm going to sow that. Um, I hadn't gotten BNB Tiger yet, and I was thinking I was going to put some of that into BNB Tiger, and maybe uh, another chunk of it into Luna Classic. Hopefully I have the right mindset to do that this afternoon. I wanted to catch BNB Tiger at a lower price. I still, I mean, I still haven't gotten it, even though I had a brother in the Lord tell me, get it. And I had the dream and such. So, God bless y'all. Please, I know people say, you know, take it to the Lord. Uh, don't just listen to me. This is not financial advice. I'm actually giving advice about finances, but it requires faith and prayer. So, and wisdom and miracles. So, pray. Ask God to show you what to buy, when to sell, and um, how much does he want to multiply it and see what the Lord does. In Jesus' name, amen.